Hi, it's Michael from grtraining.com. Welcome to uh, another free tutorial. And this time we're going to talk about Jira Agile and Confluence integration. So personally, personally, I can't imagine working with Jira as the software developer, not only developer as any basically um, type of business in Jira without access to Confluence. So in this training, I'm going to show you basically what is the space in Confluence and I'm going to show you how to connect Jira with Confluence because this is really, really cool. You can do really, really cool things and I'm planning to show you later how to do dynamic reports, how to do static reports, um, how to generate more actually sophisticated reports because as we know, uh, Jira is... It's okay regarding reports, but if, if, if you get a confluence, it's much, much, much better, much more powerful. And of course, I'm going to show you how to create issue directly from confluence. And we're going to talk a little bit about comments. Okay, so let's jump into our confluence installation. Okay, welcome back. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be using again self-hosted version. So I've just upgraded uh, my Confluence to 6.2 and I have to say it is amazing. It, it, it maybe it doesn't really, they didn't actually change that much. Uh, well, the previous was 6.1, but I think the, the, the interface is a little bit brighter. It's, there is a small cosmetic change. However, it is, I can see uh, speed improvement and well, works works a little bit, bit better so generally just from the beginning i uh, you need to have you need to have confluence and jira linked because we're going to talk about how to link the project um so but before let's just talk something really really simple what is the space what well how the confluence works so basically in jira we've got project and in confluence we've got spaces so 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 basically that we can say space is like a project for um, for confluence and of course they can be linked so we at the moment we've got something like a demo and that demo project is going to be linked to our jira and how i know my jira is linked because if we move the cursor to the uh, top left corner we've got these three like stripes and as you can see right now i've got my jira and I've got also Confluence, I also got a Bitbucket. So they actually are linked, I can switch between them. So now if I'm gonna jump to Jira, yeah, that's a standard Jira interface. And that's how you can actually jump between them. So, well, I'm not gonna explain you basically how to install Confluence because this is not a video about, however, I'm gonna tell you, uh, I'm using self-hosted version, but if you are at the moment using cloud version, well, it's very simple. Just just go to the interface, buy additionally, <laughs> buy additionally Confluence. Well, what is important, which is going to be at the same account, and that's it. Just wait maybe five ten minutes, and they're going to activate it, and the link will be already active after that five ten minutes. So that's how you're going to link them. All right. So we know actually Jira and Confluence is is, is linked. We've got a space right now, uh, which I'm gonna s switch between spaces. Well, same actually rule as you remember from Jira. So we've got projects here, we've got spaces, and yeah, space is always on top. Always, this it's always on top. And and inside the spaces we can create pages. If we hit that three buttons. Confluence actually provides us something like a pre-configured template. There is a lot of lot of templates, but I'm not gonna talk about them right now because you keep asking me how to link the projects. So um all right, let's let's take a look. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna link a new project with a new space. How to do this? I'm gonna go straight away to Jira and let's go and create new project. And what do you think? What we're we gonna do? Let's maybe create a Scrum. Yes, let's do Scrum. And that's it. So let's name it somehow. I'm gonna put some name. And I'm gonna put the key by the default. 
plus the project leader is, of course, me. Great, great, great. Okay, we've got a new project in Jira. So now I'm gonna link it to the Confluence. But before, it's more convenient to basically switch, ver switch very quickly to Confluence and create new space. So I'm gonna do it right now. And let's say this is gonna be uh, from pre-configured templates. Hmm, that's interesting because actually they keep adding new stuff. Yeah, thank you Atlassian. That's even better. Well, I have to say Confluence is better and better. Uh, software project space, create, yeah, why not? I, I, I really like it, yes, yes, let's do it. So it's gonna be, um, Yeah, demo space is already there, so let's call it demo space developers. Yeah. The S D D yeah, why not? As D D demo space developers, why not? Yeah, please always put some description. And I'm gonna hit kit create. Oh the project. Uh Right, so this is actually even better, even better, because that is something new to me. And I think it's great. He's asking you actually right now, please, you know, link it. Wow, that's that's fantastic. So probably that will be job done. Okay, and that's really it. So I've created the space. I've linked it already, and how I know it's linked. So let's go back to Jira. Let's select the project. And now scroll down to the left-hand side in the bottom, project settings. Of course, well, I forgot to mention, you need to be an admin, of course. And from the, from the details, from the summary, you're gonna see something like this settings and some general project configuration application links. Of course, you're gonna ask me for the user room. And look at this, that's great because normally, normally, if the space is not linked, this is where you're gonna do it. And you can link to the Bitbucket there, so please stay tuned because we've got another video coming about the Bitbucket. Or you're gonna choice the Confluence. I'm not gonna do it because Jira did this automatically. For, sorry, Confluence did this automatically. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so we know the projects are linked. So um, I'm gonna show you how to actually, how the system works now together. If we would like to create a issue directly from Confluence, it's very simple. So again, let's choose A space and maybe you know I'm gonna create a new page which is gonna be well, whatever it doesn't really matter you know I'm gonna say let's do a meeting notes here because we have a meeting note so well it's gonna just send me any it's just gonna tell me please do this one that one and yeah I'm gonna maybe put some text from a different website so we can I don't we don't have actually that many text I'm gonna copy something from scrum work so please hold on one second okay and as you can see right now I've copied something from scrum.org why scrum you know just to have something for the presentation purpose and I'm gonna publish it so yeah okay we've had a meeting uh, well we've put off we should actually put attendees we put something we've put also um, some text and now the idea is you know what Actually, we should create an issue from this from this thing into Jira. How to do this? Very, very simple. So uh, you need to highlight the text, uh, wait a little bit, and you're gonna see a small icon, and that's how you gonna create new issue. But before you, before actually, before you're gonna do it, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna give you um, my another tip because sometimes people are asking me why I can't see this option because you need to be logged on to Jira at the same time. So if you're not logged on at the Jira, you're not gonna see it. That's how it works. You need you basically that that the, the Confluence need to know you're, you're you're also logged on to Jira. Okay, because we are. So I'm gonna create yes, and look at this. How easy is this? We're gonna say definitely would say that which project. 
it's going to be demo and you know yeah why not it's going to be story so even if put a bit summary so that could be a little bit better because i don't really need that much in the summary in the description of course and i'm going to hit create and look at this done and now even when i'm going to come back to this section you see this actually is linked to jira and what's going to happen when i when i hit the left button well of course it's going to point me to my jira issue and of course from jira they will be linked issues so pretty pretty cool option and i think it is absolutely great i i i love it okay and now let's go back i'm going to show you also how to comment it because um this is another question what you've been asking me how to comment inside jira again very simple same rule so let's select uh, space let's go to our meeting notes and i also would like to comment just those few words so now again it's going to highlight it and next to the jira icon you've got something like add inline comment and this is where you're going to start having something like hi done and now you other users also can come because i'm an admin you're going to see it but i can add you you can actually see comments from other users too Every time when someone is gonna put a comment, they're gonna receive notification. So that's how you're creating issues directly from uh, Confluence to Jira, and that's how you creating comments inside Jira. Okay, thank you uh, very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and leave some comments. Thank you.